this situation exists if we stop the wars, if we uh, create a condition of the destruction of the borders by delivery of the enhancement units, flight units, when you can travel anywhere, anytime. These stupid, um, what I call race of domination between the nations and making enemy of the others will stop. We've seen it in, it's not Ukraine. You just explain neutral position. We saw it in past week. I, when I was a child, Tehran was the only airport in the whole of Middle East, in Arab nation, where our Israeli airline used to land. If you're a Jew, you came from Russia, you come to Tehran and then you get a flight to immigrate to Israel. We lost that point because of what I call Darwinism and everything else which came. But the strangest thing is, the Arab state gathered in the state of Israel, in a way part of the old Egypt, in a meeting a few days ago. This was unheard of because they made another enemy, which is the state of Iran, to bring them for us to be able to sell them more to make, why couldn't Iran be part of the same table? What has changed? This separation, creation of division, and these things are fed by Rothschild family. We see Soros now is on the international war on the rest, for starting the Ukrainian, promoting the Ukrainian war. It's not just Russia who has issued the warrant for the rest of Cyrus. Chinese have done the same. Because they've seen him, he interfered first with China. Now they found the source. And he works through Illuminatis and the Vatican. Cyrus cannot move anywhere anymore. It's a warrant, and if they capture him, even on flight, he'll spend years in Siberia and in the prisons in China. We create the new technology to create the condition of no borders, sharing of the technology, and being able to work together. And this will stop this position, what we've seen in Ukraine. And it's literally the job of knowledge seekers. Support of the soul of the world leaders by the Universal Council and the rest of the knowledge seekers, and the knowledgeable knowledge seekers to bring the technology forward, to be able to be shared by everyone that we don't create borders. The borders has to be the atmosphere of the universe, where it still is not a border, it's part of another part, part of another life. And negotiating to make Ukraine neutral, negotiating to get some people on our side that we can do more has to finish. This is what I said to John uh, last night. Do you want me to send you the enhancement unit? and then you send them to NASA, and then they work with you, or do you want me to send them directly to NASA? Because we are about to ship. That it brings a connection. We give a box to NASA. Their box is empty. We give the unit to Arizona, our box is full. The reactors are getting made. And the beauty of it is, I said to uh, people in the factory, build units that we can give to NASA too. But let them feel the change in the knowledge. If it's given to them, it becomes another race, another point of race. But let them see it. What can we do? We have an empty box. Go back, as I said many times, to the story of 1950s, when the Americans sent the empty matchbox to Russia. 
and they waited for it. And then the Russian sent the matchbox back and the American scientists told the Russians, you didn't see there was a, what we call now nanowires, very thin wire was in the matchbox. The Russian scientists answered, my friends, look through the wire. We have made a hole in it. It become a pipe. The risk should be amongst the scientists and the knowledge, not borders. And what it was, something very big, maybe 50 years ago, making nanowires, now it's a common knowledge because we shared it. We didn't make borders for it. And trying to get Ukraine neutralized and other satellite countries would not work. When will be the next nation? When would be the next territory? When would it be the next planet? The man wants to share Americans have half of the planet, we have the other half. The universal community would not allow it. So look at it two ways. Try to teach, try to, it's the responsibility of the Universal Council to become that soul that shines upon all, that brings all our world leaders to one point. Bring all of our systems to one point. And we, we will see the whole structure moving up. And we don't need to worry about if it's going to be a nuclear war, if it's going to be a chemical war. The biggest war we have sitting between the churches of Vatican and the Catholic Church, if the, sorry, the Russian Church, Orthodox Church, if the Russian Orthodox Church ask Putin to pull out today, they will be out today. That decision has not been made. These are soldiers of the, what we call mercenaries of the religion under the banner of nationalism. Pray with the soul of the leaders that we don't need to negotiate what's going to happen to other satellites, countries next to all the Baltic nations, which are still part of the Russian, what we call USSR, and they were hoping if one child jumps, we let him child jump and see what happened to it and the rest of us will go to NATO. It will not happen. Ukraine had the military power to battle a little bit and got a lot of support from Americans and others. These, they will wipe them out. They become part of the Russian territory within 24 hours. It's a bigger game, but primarily, if you are in that border, we are keeping a very close touch with the Romanian community at the borderline in Northern Territory of Romania. We are keeping a very close touch. We haven't left you alone and we'll support you. But it is there, try to make as much gases as you can in a case. And even now, if you put the gases outside, in a way, you might not receive some of the smells you smell nowadays. But in 24 months or 12 months will go away. But if there is anything, you're already protected. Zinc is needed for the neural system. Copper is needed for your muscle tissues. CO2 is needed for connection of lines. Mixed with amino acid, it takes it first than you. If you have a little bit of worries, mix some calcium with this amino acid that you stop any residual into the bone structure if you have injuries, physical injuries. That's all you need to do. When it comes to the nuclear level, do the same. But uh, as we've done before, with a nuclear attack, try to keep in hand plenty of H3 and CH3. That's a different technique, that's a different approach. And you can literally convert, absorb, you mix it again with the same mixture. That is on the strength of the amino acid of the man.
Uh, Mr. Cash, what about the use of um, the potassium iodide pills? Is that it useful? Work. It has never worked. <laughs> it's just the psychological game played. It's a, we came to this conclusion years ago in nuclear industry. If you lived around uh, SEK in Belgium, the nuclear power plant, they have been given these tablets for years. You have to have it. It's not known public, but because I used to collaborate with SEK and WITO, which is the Belgian nuclear side, all the people who live within a certain radius from the SEK have been given the iron tablets and um, they have to use it. And it doesn't really work. You get more if you look at it out of the what do you call it, um, uh, walnut. Buy a dry walnut uh, and soak it in the cold water. Leave it for a day. It becomes brownish color. This carries more natural ironing than you get in these tablets. And then you, you use it, you mix it with the CO2 and amino acids of CO2. And you can, it's digestible. If there is anything, it washes out of your body. This is the best source of iodine. And actually I threw about the liter of it away yesterday. You, you just buy walnuts, dry walnuts, or now if you can find the fresh ones, and just soak them for 24 hours. Add a CO2 and the amino acids of CO2. If you want, if it's a neuro damage, add a little bit of zinc to it, and you can just drink as a digestion system to wash any nuclear power um, problems. That's the best way if you're taking it, and it's the most effective way. You can wash your body with it. We see it, uh, uh, I know this from the time in Queen Mary College when we used to get contaminated, wash it with chemicals, but literally it's zero effect. If you have particles on your body, you can take radiation. The best source of iodine is the walnut. Just soak it for 24 hours and keep it, you can freeze it. Don't add ganses to it till the time of use. And you can even use it after contamination if there's a radiation contamination. And in Northern Romania, there is plenty of walnuts. We've been in that area recently, so I know very well what's going on. I've been to two kilometers, three kilometers from the border, very recently. 